Hello, my beautiful souls. It is your girl, Jalissa, and I am here to do a pick a card reading for you. Now, before I show you your options and we get into the pick a card intro, I do want to quickly show you a premiere, and I hope you really enjoy it. Let me know what you felt in the comments. Bless. Life can be full of mysteries, which is so magical, but at times we may wonder, how can I resolve this issue or how can I let go of this person or situation and be left with more questions instead of answers? We seek doctors when we feel ill to heal, but who or what do we seek when there's a supernatural or unexplainable problem at hand? We seek God, of course, and or priests, priestess, gurus, practitioners to help us heal or clear the energy. I am no doctor, but for several years, I've worked with and picked on the minds of those who are because I've been on a mission, on a mission to create accessible remedies for almost any supernatural concern. I am so proud to announce my line. It's called The Prescription, available now in six different intentions to help you with your needs. My product include exercise holy oil, essential oils, and also our Reiki charge by me personally, just for you. Check out my website and enjoy a discount today. Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? It is your girl, Jalissa, and I'm here to do a new pick a card reading for you. First of all, I want to say welcome back to all my OG, my returning viewers. So happy to have you here. Hi. And I also want to say hello and welcome in to anyone that may be new to the channel. Welcome, honey. Welcome home. So happy to have you here as well. So the title for this pick a card reading is what's next in love for you. Okay. So whether you're in a relationship or you're single or you're in a situationship, however it goes for you. Okay. I'm going to let you know what's next in love for you here today. Guys, keep in mind that this is a general reading. Therefore, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. If you want a personal reading with me, that option is available and the links will be listed in the description and also in the comments. Bless. Now, if you're new to pick a card readings, the way this works is that I display three options for you as we're going to have three groups, three different readings. So group one, you have the Cobra. Group two, you have the fire ant. And group three, you have the beaver. All right, so take your time. No worries. Take your time. If you need to pause the video for more time, do that. Don't worry. I'm going absolutely nowhere. Okay, so I always suggest for everyone to like close their eyes, take a deep breath, inhale through the nose, hold that breath in your tummy for as long as you can. And when you feel inclined, release through your mouth and continue doing this process until you feel fully grounded and centered at this moment to choose which group is for you. Some of you guys could be pulled to more than one group and that is okay. I could have more than one reading here for you today. Maybe there's more, more messages for you. Okay. <laughs> Bless. It happens to the best of us. So don't feel bad or don't be so, or don't feel conflicted, you know, because oh my gosh, I'm being pulled. Just check them both out and see how it goes. Timestamps for each group will be listed in the description as well as in the comments, guys. So when you're ready, you could go ahead and click that timestamp and go right ahead to your reading. I do want to give a quick PSA before we get started here today. So if you don't know me, I'm Jalissa. Hi, <laughs> I've been here on YouTube for over three years doing pick a card readings as well as Zodiac readings. And I enjoy doing what I do here. I enjoy connecting with the collective and just sharing my gifts. Anything I can do to uplift another person makes me so happy. So me doing this reading for you here today really fills up my heart with joy. No lie. <laughs> Bless. So thank you for being here. And also... If you didn't know, I'm an alchemist, so I do have a shop where I provide many different products that I once upon a time used to just make for myself, but decided to share with the world my gifts. So I have spiritual candles, spiritual mist, spiritual soaps. I also sell can um crystals, sorry. I also sell crystals, jewelry, books, pens. I've published a couple of decks, oracle decks and tarot. Um, they're also available on my shop check it out, check it out. Everything is 30% off to the end of August. That's right. As long as you spend $35 or more, 
you will get 30% off your entire purchase. Mm -hmm. No promo code needed. All you have to do is just click the link to my shop and browse my products. <laughs> and that's also including my services, not just my products. So that's also including my personal readings. I have three different styles, three different duration and times. Check it out. And don't just take it from me. Take it from the clients, the customers. Check out my reviews. I have 5,000 plus five-star reviews that you could review for yourself and read through the testimonies. And by the way, thank you guys to anyone who has left a review um, on a product or a service. I really appreciate you from here to like the next galaxy and back. Thank you so much, guys. I love you for that. And I'm also saying thank you for the new customers that come in and get to read your testimonies and, um, you know, get to enjoy the same product as you. Bless. All right, guys. Well, let's get it. Let's go. Oh, by the way, I do monthly raffles, which I have to really like catch up on. But yeah, <laughs> I do monthly raffles. And so every month this is my way of saying thank you. I bless one subscriber with a box full of goodies and I ship around the world. So don't worry if you're not in the U.S., you can still qualify for the raffle. So all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell button and comment on at least one video per month and you are automatically enrolled. So what I gift is a prescription candle, which is my new candle line powerful stuff as well as my tarot deck under the sea which i designed and published myself and other goodies as well so for the free for free and this is my way of saying thank you like i said all you have to do is subscribe hit the bell button and comment on at least one video per month and you are in it to win it all right my beautiful souls let's get it let's go all right group one group two group three i will find you at your pile bless and guys please share the tea after your video okay after your reading let me know what was the takeaway and how you felt and what did it confirm for you here today okay I'll love to hear from you. Don't be shy. Okay, I'm so friendly. Bless. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful souls. Hi, group one. If you chose the Cobra, then you are at your reading. Bless. This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you may have significant fire signs in your chart. Let's get it. Let's go. Bless. Or you're connecting with a fire sign. <laughs> This is my protection mist. is one of my amazing products, and I use this prior to the read. That way, we are protected during this space and time. I use it on a daily. That's why it's like running down. I need to refill it. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. I'm gonna start by giving you your angel number, and then we are gonna get into this and see what's next in love for you, sweetheart. All right, Holy Spirit, please come through. And help me channel this message here today for group one. Thank you. What is the angel number for group one here today? 456. It's giving like a count up, you know, like you're adding something like four, five, six. Okay. So um, 456, go to your search engine, put in 456, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from spirit. Bless. Do share if you can. Copy and paste. Everybody gets a different message. Now, that is giving us 15, which is then giving us 6. So, June 15th could be of significance, or the number 6, the number 15 could be of significance. Life path number 6. Um, Someone could be born in June or on the 15th. Okay, so it's giving me you going to calmer waters. All right, so I'm getting travel. This could be physical travel or emotional, spiritual travel, but I definitely see you getting to calmer waters and i'm getting in relationships because the number six does connect to partnerships relationships okay so i'm getting your partnership relationships calming down maybe there's been some discomfort or turbulence conflicts in a connection or in love in general and so things are about to get calmer and i'm getting your guides guiding you to like a calmer energy a calmer vibe Mm -hmm. i'm hearing essence all right like a calmer essence nice now you guys got the cobra so the cobra is a student now that's interesting with the whole six energy coming out here too all right so um gemini cancer could be of significant as well as aries leo sagittarius are you ready to learn is what the cobra is asking you because i'm getting that 
well, a student must be ready. When a student is ready to learn, the teacher appears. So I'm getting you preparing yourself or you, or like getting ready to like learn something when it comes to love. Mm -hmm. There was or there is a lesson in love at this time is what I'm seeing. Now, the cobra, when we see the cobra in movies, usually we see it in a basket or something and someone starts playing like a flute or an instrument and the snake comes out and like is hypnotized and dancing with the music. So music could be of significance. OK, and I'm getting you like in some sort of trance. So this could be you meditating or dancing. When we dance, we could get into a trance, too, because we're in flow and music has a vibration on its own so you connecting with music could put you into a trance all right so i'm getting dancing music you like kind of like not under a spell but i'm getting you kind of like super grounded where you're in this flow nice Okay, <laughs> you could put people, people could feel like you put them under a spell or something. Yeah, because I just saw something and it's giving me like you put people under a trance. Okay, so people feel like you have like some sort of magical powers or like your beauty or your essence, your energy, your spark. It puts them under a spell. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what's coming, what's going, what's happening, what's next in love for you. This is my music oracle deck that I designed and also published. It's available on my shop, guys. Oh, I'm getting like so hot now. All right. So what's the vibe? What's next in love for group one? Thank you. I wanted to make this as general as possible as far as like the topic, because um, I've been getting a lot of requests, like I've been getting requests from single people, people in connections. And I was like, all right, what can I do to serve everyone? And let's just see in general what's next. Let's see. All right. So what's the vibe? What's next in love for group one? Holy Spirit. All right. We have here turn on the lights by future ready. And I feel I, I don't know if I'm 100 percent right, but future could be from Atlanta. So Atlanta could be of significance. I know future is Haitian. Somebody could be Haitian or from Atlanta. All right, it says here, send her my way. Tell her I've been looking for her in the broad day, hanging with the dope boys in the hallways. And I know to keep her, yeah, you got to get that pay. Turn on the lights. I'm looking for her too. I heard she got a pretty face and stands up like a stallion. I heard that she's a precious jewel. You'll treat her to medallions. I want to be the one to find find out if I go to Prawlin. And if I get her number, you know I can't wait to dial it. And if we get together, girl, you know we going to be wallin. And when we get together, we make magic and it's ours. Ooh there goes the magic okay whenever you <laughs> up here ain't nothing nobody can do about it turn on the lights i'm looking for her too i heard she keep her promises and never turns on you i heard she ain't gonna cheat and she ain't gonna never make no move i heard she be there anytime you need her she gonna come through turn on the lights i'm looking for her i'm looking for her all right so are you ready because i'm getting somebody's looking for you Okay, somebody's looking for you in the daytime with a flashlight. <laughs> okay, and the reason why someone's looking for you is because um, they heard really good things about you. Not only are you beautiful or handsome, you are very attractive and you're also a rare gem. You're a unicorn. You're a rare find. All right, it's giving loyalty, it's giving respect, it's giving integri integrity, it's giving that. You stand on your own and like, this is what someone really wants and they're looking for you. All right, so somebody's looking for you. Okay, and then we have here waiting. Love me like you do, Ellie. Wait, I called it waiting. I named the songs. You're like the light. All right, so there's something about lights here. Turn on the lights. You're like the light. All right, so it's your light that someone's looking for. Your energy, your aura, your essence. Yeah. You're the light, you're the night, you're the color of my blood, you're the cure, you're the pain, you're the only thing I want to touch. Never knew that I could, that, blah, blah, blah. never knew that it could mean so much, so much. 
You're the fear, I don't care, cause I've never been so high. Follow me through the dark. Let me take you past our silhouettes. You can see the world you brought to life, to life. So love me like you do, love me, love me like you do. Touch me like you do, touch me, touch me like you do. What are you waiting for? Fading in, fading out, on the edge of paradise. Every inch of your skin is a holy grail I've got to find. Only you can set my heart on fire, on fire. And we got fire here. Yeah, I'll let you set the pace because I'm not thinking straight. My head's spinning around. I can't see clear no more. What are you waiting for? So I'm getting somebody's waiting for you or somebody's waiting to come after you, but they're ready. Okay. Um, but it's your light that somebody wants. I am so hot, guys, and it's not hot in here. The AC is definitely bumping. I just really turn hot out of nowhere. So I'm getting somebody's like steaming up hot, like they're frustrated. And they're looking for you. They're waiting for you. They're looking for you. Or they're waiting to approach you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody wants to get past the shadows. All right? Somebody feels like they're going insane, group one. All right? My head's spinning around. I can't see clear no more. What are you waiting for? All right? So I'm getting somebody losing their mind a little bit. <laughs> they're impatient. Okay. Let's get a little more. Okay. I'm so hot. I cannot. All right. Holy Spirit, talk to me. What's next in love for group one? Thank you. What's next in love for group one? So apparently group one, you got somebody over here tripping. Okay. Yes, you do. I'm getting you could be their teacher or you're a student in this connection. Take it how it resonates. All right. Tell me more. What's next in love for group one? Thank you. All right. So how do you want that to fall? Temperance. Somebody have a daughter? Sagittarius. All right. How do you want that to fall? The moon. Oh, but if it spinned. All right, so let's put it how it's going to fall, how it's meant to go. So Major Arcana is starting off like, wow. All right, so we have Sagittarius, Pisces, the Ten of Wands. Mm. You could be really busy working. Some of you guys could use a MacBook or a laptop, a tablet for work. Some of you guys could have like your own business or you're doing multiple things at once. I'm getting parents for some of y'all. You could be a parent. You could have a daughter or a son. Mm -hmm. For some, not all, of course. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So 10-10 could be of significance. Okay, one more. And we have the Five of Cups. Very interesting. And the Ace of Swords in the back of the deck. Yeah, I'm getting somebody stressed out. Hmm. Clarify this temperance. The lovers. I'm getting somebody being patient when it comes to you guys coming together. Some of you guys could be same sex. Some, not all, of course. Clarify the moon in reverse. We have the page of wands in reverse. Clarify the ten of wands here. Whoa, that's a lot. All right, yeah, it's a lot. And the ten of wands talks about a lot, a lot of burdens. All right, we have the Knight of Wands. No, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. We have Gemini here with the lovers. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Five of Cups. The Devil. Mmm. Mmm. Back of the deck, the high priestess. So we have Capricorn and Pisces also here. All right, so what's next in love? All right, so I'm getting somebody patiently waiting to, like, make a decision. I'm getting they're ready, but they're not. They, there's a lot going on here. You're going to find out some sort of bad news about somebody here. This could be in regards to a child. All right, so it's giving, like, um... 
someone's having some sort of unfortunate phase or event with a child or dealing with a child, I'm getting some truth coming to light. Mm -hmm. I'm getting somebody frustrated here with work. Okay. So I'm getting your doing your thing, your home, you're establishing some sort of foundation for yourself. I'm getting, you've been healing. You've been gradually healing. Your angels are around you. I'm getting a fridge being of significance, maybe pictures on the fridge or like memories on the fridge being of significance. I'm getting that someone's going to come towards you, a lover. Mm -hmm. It's going to be your choice whether or not you want this relationship. I'm getting that there may be an issue that arises around the time you meet this person. So I'm getting, if this person's not already here, it's going to take some time for this person to get here because temperance is a patient energy. This is not like, oh, tomorrow, today it's happening. Okay. So I'm getting, I'm getting you taking your time healing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, you're healing your throat chakra, you're healing your heart chakra. And I'm getting you getting a lot of dreams, a lot of messages in your dreams prophetic dreams and um your dreams are going to tell you something and this could have to do with an unfortunate event or a child i'm getting that in the next few days i'm hearing days you're going to be feeling a little bit overwhelmed because i'm getting a lot like you having a lot to do a lot of burdens a lot going on i'm getting you frustrated possibly having some headaches or just like overwhelmed with like emails messages or like um something coming towards you like you're really stressing out work you're stressing out unfortunately you know i just see you here stressing out over work there's so much on your plate all right so this could be like um a single parent vibe where you got where everything's on you or this could be just you running a business or you having to cover for someone at work you know it's just giving you having a lot to do and a lot on your plate and I just see you like really 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 stressed out I'm getting that um it's very interesting your message that's what I'm getting all right because I'm seeing a lot of you and I'm seeing you sad over here so I feel like there's a lot going on there is someone here that is thinking about you while all of this is happening I'm getting somebody like kind of a little bit obsessed when it comes to you, group one, but I see them sad and I see them like nostalgic and um, thinking about how they hurt you and how they're keeping this to themselves. I'm getting like a daughter and a son being brought up here. So that's for some, not all. So somebody got two kids, a girl and a boy. Um... I'm just getting somebody here going. I'm, I'm getting somebody waiting to give you an offer. That's what I'm getting. Because I see you busy here and I see you have a lot on your plate. But I also see someone else here. And I'm getting this person has a lot on their plate too. This person could be in a commitment as of right now and dealing with some sort of legal problems. This could be like a separation and um, legally fighting for children or divorcing and or just having some issues with family because of a kid, baby mama, baby father type of problems. You know, I'm just getting a lot going on here and I'm getting somebody really sad and obsessed thinking about you in private. Okay, so what's next in love is someone taking their time coming in towards you. We're going to get more, of course, but this is the surface that I'm seeing, I do see that you you have a lot going on and a lot to like settle and um, like bring down. I'm getting you bringing something down, like you kind of um, cutting cords or relieving yourself of some sort of responsibilities because there's too much on your plate for what I can see right now. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now, for those who are in a commitment, all right, this is for some, not all. For those who are in a commitment, I'm getting somebody will be disappointing you because they have some sort of hidden agenda. Mm -hmm. They have some sort of hidden agenda. They have a hidden plan. And that's for those who are in a commitment, who have a family and wondering like what's going to happen with your family or your commitment. I'm getting, you're going to find out some things via your children or via some kids, family members. And um, what you're going to find out is that someone is holding back truth from you, like their, their, their true identity or what they are planning to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting you feeling disappointed 
because I'm getting you finding out that they're hiding something from you. But in general, I feel like, and that's just for those who are in a commitment, but the, for those who are not in a commitment, because the reading could go either way, you know, I'm getting, for the singles, I'm getting somebody waiting to come towards you. And the reason they're waiting to come towards you, and you're going to find out either via a child or your dreams about what this person is doing or planning to do, because I'm getting somebody's um, sold when it comes to you. Like somebody has their eye on you and they want you for my singles, but they're currently in a situation that, um, is a bit complicated and they feel they're disappointing you by making you wait, but they feel like it's the, um, best thing so that you don't get hurt, even though you are getting hurt. Like you're not getting as hurt as you would if they were to involve you in what's going on here. So take it how it resonates. Um, let's get a little more, all right? Because I, I see those two sides of the story. Mm -hmm. But overall, group one, I do see that you're healing and you're focusing on healing. I'm getting there is a decision you need to make and I'm getting your guides are giving you messages. This could be vision, synchronicities, um, confirmation, messages in your dreams. Yeah. I'm getting um an overwhelm like I'm getting you overwhelmed oh my nose with work or with responsibilities like this could be like oh my gosh I gotta work I gotta do house stuff I have this other thing to do I have to help this person like oh, I wish I could like part myself in like three ways so that way I could do everything at once like there's giving it's giving me like um a lot going on here mm -hmm. like an overwhelming of energies. And I do see somebody like thinking, thinking, thinking about you sad. They're sad because they feel like they disappointed you or um, like something could be over. I'm just getting somebody stressing about something being over with you. Like, damn, did I really fuck it up? Like, are we fully done? Are we done done? Like, but I'm getting there like obsessed. Like somebody just cannot stop thinking about you. And this is in secret. Mm hmm. Now, if you're in the commitment, like if you're the group that's in a commitment with this person I'm pulling here, um, I'm getting they feel like also sad and disappointed that something could potentially be over, but they are trying to come out of this. Um, they're like being really strategic about how they go about this because they feel like it's done and they feel like they have to kind of tippy toe around it because they don't want to hurt you, even though you may already be hurt. So they're just like, I'm seeing here hiding. Mm -hmm. All right. So tell me, Holy Spirit, group one, what's next in love? Tell me more. Thank you. All right. So we have a commitment here. So this could be re like a regular relationship, girlfriend, boyfriend. This could be something serious like fiancés and or marriage. But I'm getting a commitment and I'm getting you locked in. All right, so what's next is that you're locking in with somebody. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's slowly but surely coming in. We have half-half. I'm getting you guys are going to be different. This could be different in religion, different in ethnicity, or um, from different places. Yeah, but it's yin-yang, so it's giving divine masculine, divine feminine, opposites attract. So I'm getting you locked in and committed with someone next someone very different they could be different from your usual type yeah give it time i'm getting something's not ready so for those who are single i'm getting somebody is currently exiting a situation that is unfavorable and so they're taking their time coming towards you but somebody has their eye on you the letter k could be significant now for those who are in a commitment i'm getting something is getting ready to close out between you and someone else and the reason that that's happening is because there's someone else that you are going to be with, someone you're meant to be with. And I'm getting this person that you're going to be with next is someone that's going to be locked in with you, someone that's not going to disappoint you, someone that's not going to hold back from you, someone that's not going to be scared to tell you the truth or how they're feeling. And I'm getting this person is going to be extremely fixed on you, okay? Like, you're not, gonna, you're not going to be able to question this person's intentions because they're going to make it extremely clear to you. Like, this person is going to be transparent, like water, like glass. And this connection here that's next that I'm seeing for you 
is one that's going to take you to the next level in love. So if you guys are just dating, you guys are getting committed, you know, like this could be moving in with each other, getting engaged, you know, getting married, taking it the next level, having children, take it how it resonates. But I'm getting that this is the next level for you. It's taking time to come in. I'm getting it's going to take time because Things need to be cleared up. And I'm getting you guys are healing in general, no matter which group you are here, okay? I'm getting your your healing and you have a lot on your plate right now. So right now the universe is helping you to clear things off your plate, make life a little more smoother so you have more time and availability for love and for yourself overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm getting the future. Give it time. I'm getting something slowly creeping in, something slowly coming in. It, it needs a little more time. It needs to marinate. So it's just right. So it's so juicy when you do get it. All right. So let things flow as of right now. Don't be disappointed, you know, by certain like circumstances, depending on which group you are here. And I never read that way with groups. I always just hit the message right on the nail in general. Bloop. That's what it is. But I feel right now in my heart that there is two different groups here with me right now. There are single people here with me right now, and there are also people in a commitment that are getting out of a commitment that is no longer favoring you. And therefore, there's a reason that's happening because you're meant to be in a commitment with someone else. Mm -hmm. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. All right. And then we have explosive love. So listen, what's next in love for you, group one, is so beautiful. Okay. And cliche, I'm not trying to sell a dream in here. I don't get paid for that. All right. And I'm not here to sell dreams at all. I will tell you what it is. I'm not that reader. I don't like to sugarcoat. I like to give it raw. <laughs> um, you know, that way we're like, you know, walking clear. We're not, you know, walking on clouds. Um, yeah, but I'm getting that what's next is something that is going to like rock your socks off. Now, some of you guys either recently got out of a relationship that was bad, like you and this person were a bad combination for each other, you weren't aligned, you had different values, or you had different goals and dreams. And for others of you, um, you could have been, or you either just got out of it or you're getting out of it, you know, so it's depending on where you at right now with the time frame. But I'm getting you ultimately getting out group one of a very unfortunate relationship you know i feel like that relationship back to the cobra was meant to teach you something mm -hmm. but it explodes kind of in your face where it, it catches you by surprise unexpectedly like you didn't expect things to explode the way that they do or they did um with a particular somebody mm -hmm. but your angels are around when it happens okay so you're not alone let's get a little more yeah, let's get a little more. I got new charms, so I'm excited to go there. Um, but let's get a little more before we go there. All right, tell me more about group one. What's next in love for group one? Thank you. I'm hearing bitty, bitty, bam, bam. All right, so somebody could be from Cali, Mexico. Bitty, bitty, bam, bam. That's Selena or a big Selena fan. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we have mending. So I'm getting you putting your heart back together. We have community. I'm getting your friends, family, or your community, like people around you helping you. This could even be for some of you guys, a child helping you. But I do see you mending your heart back together. And I see good luck here, a lot of good luck. Look at these banners. So there's no banners over here with mending. So I'm getting while you're mending, healing, and putting your heart back together, there is no celebrations, okay? This is a, a peaceful time for you to put your heart back together. It's going to be confusing. You may feel lost, but you're going to you're gonna make it happen. And it's crazy because there's no banner here. Like, there's no celebrations, but you're getting ready for one. Look. Look at what they're mending. That banner. I mean, I don't know if it's called banner, but I'm going to call it a banner. <laughs> All right. You and your inner child are creating the banners. As you're mending your heart, you're creating the banners or whatever, these things here for your party. I'm getting you having a party. 
I'm getting you having some sort of celebration and it's in regards to a new life. So this is a new you coming into town, a glow up, a new version of you, a new life. Maybe you're moving somewhere. Maybe you have a new type of a new career or new friends, a new vibe. You're going to new places like a new you is coming into town is what I'm seeing here. And while you're mending your heart, this is so beautiful because while you're mending your heart, you're getting prepared, whether you know it or not, to celebrate this new life. Mm hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah. New life here. New life. New you with the egg. All right. And then with all that glitters, number 16, I feel like you were dealing with people. We also have 52, 8 and 39 here. You were dealing with a person that was fake. Not for nothing, all right? With all that glitters, not everything that shines is gold, right? Not everything that glitters is gold. So I'm getting somebody was wearing a very pretty mask. And so that's why you're healing your heart. Or you're moving towards that. Mm -hmm. Let's get a little bit more here. All right, tell me a little more about what's next in love for group one. Thank you. We have the super moon. I'm getting emotions are running high. I'm getting definitely that you're cutting cords. You're releasing a somebody that doesn't benefit you no more. Okay? With the devil being here, this is someone toxic. Someone that has either bad behaviors, obsession, addiction, could be clingy, codependent, very needy, um, temperamental, could be a brat, you know, self-centered, um, entitled. Take it how it resonates. This is someone that is thinking about self more than anything. Mm-hmm. They could wear black a lot or like the color red. All right. But I see you cutting cords with this person, this situation, this memory, um, this emotion. And I'm getting um something resurfacing before your heart is fully mended. So I'm getting hot and cold. Like they go and they come back. You're meant to fulfill your divine contract. So I'm getting, it was a divine contract. What you had here with someone that you're cutting loose. I'm getting this as positive change though for you. And so you completed your contract. You're done with that. You had to pay some dues. This is like Saturn return vibes where you had some karma to pay. And that person was part of your karma. And so you were learning a major lesson, the Cobra. All right. The Cobra does remind me of, um, um, Kobe. Yeah, because Kobe, he would, would he say Cobra or like, did he like, um, I don't know, use Cobra as his like, I don't know, his logo or something. But the Cobra reminds me of Kobe. Basketball could be of significance. I'm getting you doing something online with the third house here, Gemini. Yeah, you're connecting with a lot of people online. I'm getting you making a new life for yourself and people seeing it online. All right, you could be connecting with new people online. With cancer here, you could have cancer in your chart, Gemini as well. All right, I'm seeing you're, you're going to have a new home, a new life, a new family, a new mood, a new everything, sweetheart. You're birthing a new you. You're birthing a new family. And I'm getting a baby here. Mm -hmm. And then we have the egg here too. So if you're fertile or if you can have children, there's a big possibility that in next in love, you're having a new baby. Mm -hmm. For those who can, you know? For those who can't, this is just you birthing a new world, point blank, period, okay? And then we have semi-sextile, okay? There's an opportunity coming in with no effort. Like, you literally have to put in no work. It's just coming in, and it's for you. Yeah, so I'm getting you growing. There's a lot of potential here and love for you, and you're definitely going to grow. All right, so let me get a few more cards before we go into your charms, Okay. So tell me more about what's next in love for group one. Shout out to the new life, okay? New house, new baby, new car, new life, new love, new sex, new everything. <laughs> it's all a new world. <laughs> tell me more for group one. I love it. You deserve it, especially after um, this karmic that you dealt with, all right? It's going to be very refreshing. It's going to be night and day, literally. I'm getting you how to do some shadow work. All right, we have freedom. Yeah, I'm getting you embracing your freedom. It says healthy space and room to breathe. Yeah, I'm getting you, your emotions are high, so you needed space or you need space. So I'm seeing you embracing freedom here. All right, and then we have here 
attraction a bubble bath could be of significance i'm getting somebody's going to be very attracted to you they're going to want to take baths or showers with you mm -hmm. they're going to shower you with like appreciation i'm getting this person finding you so attractive i'm getting a lot of chemistry here sexy time we have psychic connection so what's next in love is you connecting with someone and you guys you can meet online all right um but i'm getting it's a psychic connection okay your communication goes beyond mere words all right so i'm getting you guys finishing each other's sentences reading each other's mind telepathically communicating um there's going to be energies that you feel with this person that you would never felt with anyone else confirmation all right so you could have like a kundalini activation um you could have a <laughs> different level type of sex you know <laughs> you just gotta be there to understand what i'm saying <laughs> um but yeah i see that and this is an unexpected connection all right so you have an unexpected connection i'm getting y'all opposites is y'all very different but it's definitely gonna work all right and we have here like i'm getting like a pocahontas vibe too somebody could smoke weed i'm getting rain someone could love to be in the rain someone could be african-american i'm getting like two people with different skin tones could be a light difference or a drastic difference i mean somebody has a nice ass all right this could be the femme obviously <laughs> The roads to regret or remorse. Yeah, like, don't look back, group one. All right, don't look back. I'm getting there will be regret. There will be doubt. There will be some sort of remorse with you moving forward. But do not look back. I'm getting you deserve your freedom. It's giving me Pocahontas. Like, I don't know if you watched the Pocahontas movie. That's throwback. I watched it, like, a few weeks ago. So Pocahontas and John. John was from Britain, right? He was English. And Pocahontas was na Native American. And the whole point was in the movie that Mother Earth brought them together, in a sense. Destiny brought them together. But Mother Earth really made sure that they came together. Cause she, so Pocahontas had a connection to the wind, the trees, earth right and um john he was with the explorers and they were exploring or whatnot and trying to conquer new land and find gold and blah blah blah, blah. and so he was part of that quest but the mother earth the trees the wind brought pocahontas and john together and they fell in love and because of their love they were able to like um, stop a war between the native the native americans and the english people in the movie right but Pocahontas was arranged to marry one of the chiefs in her tribe. And when she found out, it was right before she met John. And she was like, I guess, you know, because it was tradition for the father or the parental figure to decide. It was her father, though. So father could be of significant. Um, it was tradition for the father to decide who weds his daughter. And so he chose one of the chiefs that, you know, have gone to war and has some sort of badges or whatever. And he felt like that he was ideal for his daughter. So he arranged it and told her that it was the best for their community, their tribe. And so she went along with it like, all right, cool, whatever. She wore the necklace, which symbolized she was getting ready to marry. But once she met John is like, uh, I have this vibe. And so the one she was meant to marry ended up like um, attacking John. And then John's friend um, came and he shot him because he was defending John. So that guy died um, and she never married him. Her heart always belonged with John or whatever. And John got injured, too, because they thought it was him. But it was a whole whatever. But that could be of significance. Don't regret. Don't look back is what the universe is saying. You were meant to learn a lesson with this karmic. And that's all it was meant to be. Not not that that that's kind of harsh. Not that that was all it was meant to be, because obviously there's memories, there's love, there's things you take away from that. Um, There's a lesson you take away from that. And that's what's more most important, okay? And that's what the universe wants you to know. You're not a bad person for leaving or you're not a bad person for moving on and going to someone else or, you know, committing with someone else is just destined to be that way. It's designed in the stars. You were a lesson to them as well as they were a lesson to you. So I'm getting an unexpected relationship here. Relationship here. Mercury retrograde. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, um let me see. 
my nails all right so there's that let's um go to your charms and get some initials and get some extra confirmation i am gonna do an extended my beautiful souls for those who are interested all right um let's see what we're gonna talk about i want to talk about the new love but let's see i'm gonna leave it to spirit I'm going to do a quick preview of the extended for those who um, may be interested, may want to join. It's up to you. It's optional. It's super affordable. The link will be in the description and also in the comments for you. All right. So, Holy Spirit, here comes my nose. Stop it. <laughs> my nose itches. Oh, my gosh. It's so bad. All right. Holy Spirit, talk to me. What's next? Well, no. What else does group one need to hear? What else does group one need to hear? All right, so we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So I'm getting somebody's for the streets, like somebody's quick. They could be really attractive, really good in bed, but I'm getting they move real quick or they move on real quick. Yeah, the Two of Wands in reverse. I'm getting somebody trying to play it safe, all right? Because I'm getting somebody trying to play it safe and moving very slow on purpose because they want to like do them and also it's like have one foot in one foot out well if i leave questions or if i leave room for questions then there will be a desire you know like something like that like well if i lack communication or if i um you know don't say no but disappear you know i will leave them wondering yeah there's a frustration here um or maybe if I give them something and suggest something but don't fully give it to them, I keep them wandering or wanting me. It's getting very immature. I'm getting frustrations here due to like a delay with somebody here. Mm -hmm. the, so we have um, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, lots of fire. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, more fire because that's Sagittarius. So I'm getting... A unfortunate situation is giving bad karma mm -hmm. yeah and then we have the magician aquarius all right back of the deck we have the page of cups new love yeah so what we're gonna do we're gonna talk about this person over here that's like one foot in one foot out and um kind of for the streets not for nothing this is a very sexual person this is a person that looks for outside validation um, that also sees intimacy as validation of emotions too. And I'm getting this person like being very impulsive and doing them, but also keeping a foot in or trying to keep you wondering, taking their time coming towards you. I see you frustrated, feeling like this is bad karma or bad luck. And it is, and I'm going to go deep into this. And I'm also going to go deep into what you manifested, which is new love. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit of both worlds. Now let's get into your charms. The link for this, like I said, will be in the description as well as the comments. All right, let's see if you get one of my new charms. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. But I hope so. Did we? Oh, we did it. <laughs> oh, maybe next time. All right, let's get some initials. Who's this? Oh, it's Moana. It's Moana. So you guys could feel pulled to the to the ocean. I was going to say the kitchen. I don't know. Maybe somebody's a chef or somebody be in the kitchen. All right, but I'm getting y'all could feel pulled to the ocean. You could like to travel or you could like going to the beach, the ocean fishing yeah we have the fishing rod here exactly fishing swimming etc tanning all right um so first middle last initial we have od i'm getting somebody overdoes things or like they overdo it we have qr so i'm getting a qr code possibly being of relevance okay like maybe somebody has a qr code like here Scan my QR code. You can have my phone number and my social media apps or something. I don't know. We have QP. All right, somebody wanted QP. Is it? Oh, no, it's CP, no QP. All right, QPS. Somebody could be in elementary school, like somebody's kid. Somebody could be a cop. Um, N-O, no. Somebody's name could be Nor. 
GN. I'm getting the nighttime being of significance. Somebody could be a nurse. RN. FWM. O. Mom. M O M. A mom could be of significance. You could be a mom. Or a mother's significance. All right, we have H. H. J. M. U. M. Mum. Mum. Mom. I'm getting like mom, dads, kids. Okay. Um, B Z. A Q Q A. I'm getting a lot of questions. Somebody wants their answers. We have D M. All right. So I'm getting somebody could be DMing you or you you talk to somebody through DMs or somebody's talking to somebody in DMs. I U. I U D. I'm getting somebody IUD. Somebody lied about having an IUD. Okay, we have QX. Or maybe you need to check on your IUD. I'm getting somebody mad. SEX. Yeah, like somebody's mad because of sex. Or somebody's mad you figure something out. I'm getting a doctor, MD. I'm getting somebody going to the doctor because of sex. Mad. Hmm. Okay. Something about results. All right. We have Sprite here. Maybe somebody's a doctor. All right. We have Rice Krispie Treats or somebody went to the doctor to check their IUD and was mad after sex or somebody found out that they lied about going to the doctor to put an IUD. There's something like this going on here. All right. Um, Rice Krispie Oreos. Somebody could love that. We have um, Kura here, sushi, Kura sushi, yum. Somebody could love that. We Somebody could have a pickup truck. We have a red pickup truck here, Mickey Mouse. All right, Orlando could be significant, Japan, California. We have apple pie spice. So apple pie, somebody could love apple pie. Um, then we have Flynn Rider here. I'm getting somebody's really good looking and they're like a professional thief. All right, so this could be um, un mantenido, how we would say in Spanish, like a man that wants to be maintained. Or this could be a chapeadora, which is what we call women who use men for money. Like, take how it resonates. Okay, because they go both ways. Uh huh. We have euros here. So Europe being of significance. And I did bring up John from Pocahontas. And then we have Moana here. So somebody could look like Pocahontas or Moana. Okay, but I'm getting... You have a mission and the universe chose you. Yeah. I'm getting you working on putting your heart back. Like I'm getting when your heart's not in your chest. Okay. Like, like when your heart's not healed, you could be like Dafiki. Okay. The, the volcano. <laughs> we have 505 here. So May 5th could be of significance. Who's that? Is that Taurus or Gemini? I think it's Taurus or maybe not. All right. We have the fishing rod here. Someone could love going fishing. I'm getting um like you're looking for something or someone's looking for you. Yeah, and that's what we got in the message here. We have a tray, so I'm getting you hosting some sort of event or you could smoke and use trays, keeping it clean, you know? And then we have social media here with, with TikTok, okay? So TikTok, somebody could be a TikToker um, or something's found out on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, I don't know, do people still use Twitter, Snapchat, those things? Okay, so yeah, I'm getting social media. Rice Krispie Oreos, yeah, that's coming out a lot. That's somebody's favorite. And then we have a camera. Somebody could be a photographer, um, make content, or somebody could be a model. Mm -hmm. Or you're just going to be taking some bomb-ass pictures moving forward, and somebody's watching you like they're sick. I'm getting somebody sick watching you on social media your pictures, your videos. All right, we have Dino Wars. Okay, this is somebody like, I'm getting a war between you and someone else. It's from a past life. Yeah, Saturn return. I'm getting that. Well, that's really the South Node energy. I'm getting that Um, you and someone else had a past life together and you were meant to like cross paths now in this lifetime to finish up some sort of lesson and learn something. Mm-hmm. But I'm getting it doesn't get complete, but the contract does. So there was some sort of terms, like whether you guys pass the test or not, like you get to be released of the contract. And I'm getting that you learned what you needed to learn, and now you're moving forward. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's move that along to the side. To the left, to the left, everything you own in the box to the left. If I bought it, yeah, that's right. Wait, I don't think that's how I went. <laughs> All right, um, advice for group one, thank you. Guys, let me know how you feel about the reading in the comments, all right? Invest wisely. Invest your attention into things that support, nurture, and challenge you in healthy ways to help you, to help your soul blossom, all right? So basically invest your time wisely and invest it on the right people, not on the wrong people, because energy is a currency. And we have get creative, inspire and nurture your creativity in yourself to expand your thinking okay so the more you draw paint write um design or do something you enjoy to do a hobby um the more your mind stimulates and the more um thoughts can come through that you need bad timing everything will come to you at the right time be patient your time will come all right so it's giving um the wrong time and the right time is coming be patient is your message group one you may see white feathers, black feathers. You need to focus on your sacral chakra because it's out of balance. Okay, sweetheart? Yeah. All right. That's your willpower, your confidence, um, your strength. All right. So you could be feeling a little bit insecure or a little bit um, fatigued or down and out. So focus on bringing that up. Connect with a hobby, something you love to do, whether that's fixing things, writing things, creating things, you know, that's going to help you. All right, baby. Group one, I love you. Now I'm going off to this juicy reading over here. So if you want to join me and continue the vibe with me, you can. The link will be in the description and the comments. I would love to see you there. Bless. Super affordable. And it's definitely going to be worth it. Okay. But if this is what we're parting ways, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being here with me. I really do appreciate your time, interest, and love. So guys, make sure to give me some love. Okay. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell button, comment on the video. I appreciate that. And you guys are amazing souls, okay? Don't let this or someone's dusty daughter or dusty son, you know, drain you of your energy and your light. Because clearly you shine bright and somebody's ready. <laughs> they're ready, confirmation, but they're waiting to come towards you. Because somebody got their eye on you. Mm, they want you. All right, love you. Deuces. Bless. <laughs> hello there group two how are you doing baby welcome to your reading if you chose the fire ant you're at your pile let's get it let's go let's get it let's go we got a lot to talk about mm -hmm. okay i'm hearing amiga so you could speak spanish or you could have spanish friends okay i'm getting amiga like friends <laughs> like i got something to tell you all right so i'm getting a friend having something to say to you all right maybe you're talking to a friend about something that is currently rubbing you the wrong way all right let's go holy spirit talk to me what is group two's angel number bless by the way, this is my protection mist. I use it prior to every reading. Sorry, forgot to introduce you to it. It's on my shop if you're interested. Um, we use that for protection and to avoid any interferences. So we have 564. 564. Interesting. You could have been pulled to pile one. I mean, group one. Confirmation. All right, but anyway, 564. Oof, I got a little sharp hit on my right arm. Okay. That's weird. That's your angel number. Go to your search engine, put 564, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from spirit. Something pinched my right arm. What's up? All right, so that's giving us 15, which is then giving us 6. So I'm getting you going to calmer waters. 615, June 15th could be of significance, Gemini Cancer. Um, path number six could be of significance for you. Somebody could be born on the 15th. I'm getting deja vu. <laughs> I am. Okay, so you could be experiencing deja vu at this time. All right, yeah, like pinch me. Am I alive? Like, is this, is, um, am I in the 3D reality or which one am I in? <laughs> it's giving. You have the fire ant, which is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could have significant fire placements in your chart or you could be dealing with a fire sign. 
Either way, this is your card. And so what it's telling me, confirmation over there on my phone by a stranger. I don't know. This is a stranger texting me that I don't even know who it is. But I'm not entertaining it because I don't like to talk to strangers. All right. It could just be somebody playing games. All right. So I'm getting like somebody playing on your phone. Um, you may be receiving strange phone calls, strange text messages by somebody. All right. But what the fire ant here is telling me you flared up or somebody got you flared up in love. All right. So somebody could have literally rubbed you the wrong way or triggered you. All right. There could be gossip. There could be drama. Okay. And it's giving that you need to cool down. Okay. Cool down. So the way to cool down is by either taking a cold shower, taking a warm bath with some salt, meditating, taking a walk, doing some breath work, breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth, you know, we'll stop before you react. I'm getting somebody pissing you off. Mm hmm. And I'm getting a lot of people being involved with all them ants. Yeah. So don't let something get the best of you is what your guys are saying. Like somebody may trigger you and you're human. So of course, you know, we want to react or we could feel a type of way. We could feel insulted or we could feel, you know, disrespected and we may want to react, but it's not the best thing to do. Um, it's best for you to take your time and reflect before you address. Okay. So that way you address the matter with a level mind, a leveled heart. And you can manage a situation better that way, okay? It's always better to have a strategy or some sort of dialogue, like, premeditated in your mind prior to you addressing something, especially when um, things are hot, all right? Because now I'm getting, if the kitchen's too hot, get out the kitchen or something like that. So a kitchen could be of significance. Tell me more for group two. Confirmation from the stranger on my phone. <laughs> stranger Things. Maybe somebody likes that show. Stranger Things. All right. So what's this is my music deck, by the way, guys. It's available on my shop. We're going to use it to get the vibe. What's the vibe, Spirit? What's next in love for group two? Next in love for group two. Thank you very much. I'm hearing Bad Bunny. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Um, that's that song where he's like... Y solo mírame con esos ojitos lindo. I'm getting a lot of Spanish here. Maybe you are Spanish, or maybe you're connecting, or maybe your boot thing is Spanish. I don't know. But there's something about look at me with those cute little eyes. Con esos ojitos lindo. Okay, so somebody wants you to look at, look at them in their eyes. Okay, um, somebody could be Puerto Rican. And we have here, where the party at? Jagged Edge, time to go outside. All the girls in the club in their best outfits. Showing that skin, trying to make a bleep, want to spit. Where you been, girl? You and your friend need to come to the back where we got it locked down. Yeah. In your white t-shirt or three-piece suit, doesn't matter what you wear, all that matters is who you with. Some jiggy and some straight grinding. All up in the club, just have a good time. Hey, where the party at? Girls is on the way, where the Bacardi at? Bottles and models talking all that. You know I can't forget about my thugs. Where the party at? All my girls, where the party at? Where the party at? <laughs> All right, so I'm getting where the party at. A party could be of significance. All right, but it's time for you to go outside. It's time for you to have more fun. It's time for you to socialize. I'm getting it's time for you to go out with your friends or with, you know, people you're cool with. And then we have here a favorite song by Tusi, and I called it, I Want to Heal You. I see the look on your face. I see you're hiding the hate. I see you looking for someone to scoop you right off your feet. You want to ride in the raft. You want to go out on dates. You want somebody to come bring you flowers. Someone to talk to you for hours. Wash your back while y'all sit in the shower. Someone to tell you you're beautiful. Someone to tell you I mean it. Someone to tell you I love you every day and don't got a... You want somebody you want someone to bring you peace, someone to help you sleep, someone to pick you up when you're feeling down, feeling lonely. Somebody who can make it better, somebody who can open up those gates, 
open up those gates to your heart only if you'll let me all right so there's somebody that's interested in you mm-hmm yeah you so the universe is saying baby it's time for you to go outside it's time for you to mingle and there's definitely someone interested in you and whoever this person is that's interested in you they could see the pain in your face there's something about your facial expressions like maybe your face tells a lot of stories all right maybe people could read you with your facial expressions maybe you're giving off that you're not happy or you're going through some difficult times somebody could see what you're going through through your facial expressions, and they're interested in you. Yeah. All right, so this could be in the now or what's coming in, but there's someone that wants to, like, help you, someone that feels like, you know, they want to be that hero in your life, the one that helps you put your heart back together, that helps you feel good. Like, there, there's something about this person knowing that you want love, you want appreciation, you want someone to hold you, love you, caress you, shower you with affection, um, take you out on dates, and, you know, do all the lovey-dovey things. Yeah. Okay, shout out to them. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. All right. My ear is going off, so pay attention to what people say to you. Pay attention to what you hear. All right, Holy Spirit, talk to me. What's next in love for group two? What's next in love for group two? Thank you. And I'm getting really hot. This happened, too, when I was connecting earlier. Like, I just all of a sudden started getting very hot. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, it's giving work. Some of you guys could be same sex. That's for some, not all. Cupcakes could be of significance. Liquor. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. I'm getting work. Okay, so uh, this could be somebody that's crushing on you at work. They could be of the same sex for some of y'all. Maybe you don't know. Okay, we have the Tower. Yeah, I'm getting you shocked. Like, you're shocked? Like, hold up. They don't have to be of the same sex, you know what I'm saying? Um, it could be opposite, okay? That's just for some, not all. But I see you shocked. Uh-huh. How do you want that to fall? All right. The Knights of Swords. We have the Tower here. We. And we have the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Thank you. I'm getting somebody coming towards you while you're at work or while you're working on something. Some of you guys could have just recently got a promotion or a new job or new projects at work. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords. All right, so that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Some of y'all could have like a Yorkie or a little dog or a dog in general. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius. I'm getting fortunate change with work. Mm-hmm. Clarify the Tower here. All right, how do you want that to fall? Let me see. How do you want that to fall? Yeah. I'm going to use shocked with like a separation. Let me see. Clarify the Knight of Swords. The Three of Wands. I'm getting somebody planning to come towards you and speak to you about something here. Clarify the Knight of Cups. I mean, the King of Cups. Sorry. The Empress. Libra. Taurus. And then we have the Hangman. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. All right. So... I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you super focused at work, regardless of sex, female or male. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I'm getting like the tables turning for you big time. I see like some of you guys are either getting a promotion, a new job, new projects at work or accolades at work. There's fortunate change for you financially. This could even come through a child, child support or some sort of like unexpected monies. Um, yeah, I'm getting like unexpected money, unexpected financial opportunities coming in. I'm getting school too, like someone starting school or new school. All right. So your child could be starting school. Um, that's for some, not all, or you could be starting school. Okay. There's something here about starting school or starting to learn something new. I'm getting tables turning for you. I'm getting you working, 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 focusing on work. Okay. 
and I'm getting um like you comfortable at work. You're doing what you're doing. Some of you guys could be working from home. Others of you are not, but I'm getting for some, you could be working on something at home or working from home. I'm getting a big change within your finances, career, endeavors. And then I see you shocked. Like there's something shocking coming your way. Like I'm getting here. Hmm. We're going to go deeper because I want to know more, but I see you shocked due to a separation. Yeah. Like I'm getting somebody. All right. Somebody's coming towards you like a trip. Like somebody's like planning to come towards you or planning a day with you. Like somebody's going to hit you up out of nowhere and say, hey, um, you want to link up or you want to talk or you want to sit down? I want to I want to actually see you. Like, are you busy on this day or do you have some free time? Like, I want to see you. Um, Yeah, like somebody rushing to see you, somebody rushing to come in and I'm getting you shocked. And it's because this person's like not with someone. They want to tell you the tea about a relationship they could have been in a relationship for quite some time, and I'm seeing somebody coming towards you, planning to come towards you very quickly, kind of impulsively, with lots of love. It's like they're, they're like baiting you or trying to like catch you, courting you for sure. I'm getting some. I'm getting you surprised by somebody courting you. Mm hmm. Somebody's definitely gonna court you. Is what I'm seeing. This person, be careful with the fire ant here because there could still be drama due to a separation. So this person could be coming towards you while you're in separation, while they're going through a separation. And so there could be drama because of this. So either you're separating with someone and someone else is coming in fast because they have a plan to do that, to court you because they see you as like the whole package. They see you as like, woof, a big deal. And they've been thinking about this. They've been thinking about your conversations. This is someone that knows you. They've been rereading conversations between you and them. They've been thinking about you, your, your appearance, your looks, your energy, what you bring to the table. Like this person has really thought this through. That's why you're going to be shocked when this person comes towards you. So either you're, or either you're just becoming available to the market and this person is like my opportunity, let's go. Or this person just got out of a relationship that they've been trying to get out of for quite some time and they're finally free. So they're doing doing what they finally wanted to do, which is come towards you. Okay. Yeah. And I'm getting with this. I want to heal you. So for some of y'all, y'all getting out of a relationship and this person sees the opportunity to come and be your shoulder or something. Um, and, or they're getting out of a relationship and they feel like you could be a shoulder for them, but they have love for you. And so they are going to use this opportunity to come towards you and like, like over tea, coffee or shots, whatever they want to talk to you about, like either what's going on with you with a separation or what's going on with them in a separation. And they have goals. They have dreams with you. <laughs> they be in bed thinking about you, darling. <laughs> they do. And so this person has been thinking about it, but they've been strategizing like their best approach. Like, all right, if I approach group two, I got to do it in the right way. Somebody could be very popular with all these ants. Like somebody could be really popular, get a lot of attention, either be famous or just have clout or just be really popular. Um, this person could even be inviting you to go out to party, like a VIP section or to go fishing or to go somewhere like by water or something, or just to like tour go go to like museums or something like that like this person's gonna want to go somewhere like day like a day date you know daytime date like I want to take you out and I want to make sure it's perfect because I want you to know that my intention isn't just to like sleep with you be with you on an intimate level like my intention is actually to like offer you love mm-hmm there could be a difference with age for some of y'all or a difference with ethnicities religion culture yeah, but this person really sits in their bed and think about you. This person could have a really big bed, a king size bed. I'm getting, you will see red robins, blue jays, a lot of them. That's going to be your confirmation. Mm -hmm. I'm getting you planting a new, like there's like a new family here being planted. Like, cause trees, there's a new tree being planted and trees for me are not just legacy, but lifelines. All right. Like, usually when you ask somebody, let me see your family tree, is like 
an umbrella or like you know many like a, a foundation and then the branches go off to different relatives and different family members but i'm getting a new tree here so this is giving like a new family uh-huh new home new family new life is what it's giving me let's keep going all right, so I'm getting somebody wanting to sweep you off your feet. That's what's next in love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing you going from a cold energy to a very warm energy. Because Venus is a very hot planet, and Venus is here. And so I'm getting you going from ice cold, like a Pluto vibe. You may have came out of some sort of destruction, or you may have came out of a very rough phase in love, or you're coming out of that, you know, and you're going into Venus, which is the, the planet of love, the planet of beauty, the planet of everything nice, all right? But it's a very hot planet, and it's very big, too. So, yeah, I'm getting you coming out your cave, and I'm getting a lot of people seeing you and a lot of people interested in you, but this one person in particular is going to be coming your way. Mm-hmm. I'm getting Virgo. I'm getting Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius. All right. Tell me more what's next in love for group two. Yeah. We have Yang, Divine Masculine. All right. So you manifested someone here and the Empress is divine feminine. So I'm getting two powerful beings. Okay. Two powerful souls coming together. You manifested this. Okay. We have go the distance. So y'all could live at a distance. The number one could be a significant life path. Number one, somebody could be born on the first January. Um, 47 could be of significance too. All right, but I'm getting like someone literally racing time. Like somebody feels like they've wasted time and they're not trying to waste time with you. So I'm getting somebody like going the distance here. Mm -hmm. We have poised. Yeah, which is like kind of an empress energy regardless of sex. 48. Yeah, 47, 48. So I'm getting somebody going the distance for you because you're on your pedestal. You're coming out of some sort of cave. You're coming out of like your cocoon and you're showing up as the butterfly. It's giving beautiful, handsome, sexy, just confident, new vibe, new look, new attitude. Yeah. Mm hmm. And like somebody <laughs> wants to do things by the books with you, number 11. Yeah, it's giving family. Somebody has. Um, Somebody's inspired to create a family with you. I'm getting a drought here. Like this person, um, a desert could be of significance. There's two deserts here. I'm getting um, someone leveling up emotionally. Yeah, and spiritually. I'm getting this person went through a drought. They've been going through a drought, some sort of um, upheaval to get to the finish line of some lesson, to get towards you, to come near you. And I'm getting you went through a drought too. And it could have been in regards to like family, um, learning the laws of the universe, obeying the laws of the universe, mm -hmm. learning a lesson, getting children, family could have been of significance, but I see you on top of your game here. I'm getting you shocked with like everything. <laughs> and then we have happy, happy, like the, the egg is here, so that's giving me new life, number 26. And I'm getting you so happy. You conjured this. You called this in from the universe. You definitely did. You're going to be so happy. Some of you guys could have, like, brown curly hair. Uh-huh. Cheetahs. Cheetah print. Elephants. Cheetahs and elephants could be of significance. I'm getting y'all different, but I'm getting it works. Mm-hmm. Let's get a little more here. Y solo mírame con esos ojitos lindo. Yeah, look at me with those beautiful eyes. I'm getting a beautiful smile too. I'm getting stars, a lot of stars around you. I'm getting stars around them too, but their stars are more faded. I'm getting your stars. No, their stars are pretty bright too. There's stars around both of y'all. A lot of star energy, Aquarius, wish fulfillment, a miracle. All right, tell me more for group two in regards to what's next in love. All right, so they may be you, they may be coming towards you like they traveling towards you or they had to travel or something. A trip. We have the super moon. Emotions are running high. Yeah, I'm getting you cutting cords. 
I'm getting, um, I'm getting, maybe that's why the fire ant is here with the super moon. Like something's going to resurface from your past and I'm getting his drama and I'm getting something being revealed that was once upon a time hidden. Okay. But I'm getting positive changes here. Yeah. And I'm getting you cutting cords with one, with what no longer serves you. The waning moon is here. Yeah. You're surrendering and going with the flow. Like you're letting go of what doesn't serve you. Yeah. You're letting go and you're moving on. You're resting and rejuvenating. You're letting the universe do its magic. You're letting fate take place. Like, you're not forcing anything. You're not pressuring nothing. You're not looking for nothing. Mm -hmm. Right now, you don't have to take any type of action, is what your guides are saying. With the semi-sextile, um, I'm getting just allow. Just allow things to flow. Allow things to come in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's growth. There's a lot of potential here for growth. Yeah, you don't have to do nothing. I'm getting opportunities. And then we have the sixth house. Somebody could smoke weed. A dog could be of significance. A fro. Even um like um straight hair. Yeah, I see you focusing on your health. I see you healing. Some of y'all could be smoking at night or just smoking to calm down. I'm getting you focusing on your daily routine, getting grounded, working hard. Yeah, I'm getting you connecting with a pet or animals. Working on your skills. And then we have the ninth house here, which is Sagittarius. Okay, so it's giving me um someone's traveling. Yeah. I'm getting somebody traveling towards you. Mm-hmm. You could have traveled too, or you could meet this person while traveling. But I'm getting you learning something, and I'm seeing an adventure here. Nice. All right, so let's get a little bit more. A little more for group two. Thank you. All right, we have curtain call. So I'm getting fame. Okay, so if this is not you, this is them. All right, I'm getting recognition here. I'm getting a celebrity or someone that has clout, fame. Did I mention that earlier? I think I did. Anyway, yeah, I'm getting you having some sort of spotlight here. Headache. Hmm. Hammock. Yeah, I'm getting you like working really hard to get some sort of recognition, whether that's a spotlight, fame, or attention. I'm getting you working really, really hard. Mm hmm. I'm getting your life being a movie. You feeling like your life is a movie. <laughs> you could have it on Netflix. <laughs> Maybe you are an actor, actress, or um, an entertainer of some sort, or you're watching like a movie or something. Yeah, I'm getting you going on some sort of vacation time out because you feel like. I don't know, you feel like you're taking a break. You feel down and out, you feel sick, you have a headache, or you're just feeling um, a little under the weather, like something's off. So you're gonna take some time off is what I'm seeing here. Yeah. I'm seeing you, we have here Virgo, Gemini, and Leo. I see you taking time off. With the sixth house here is Virgo. All right, and then we have here within a few weeks. Yeah, so I'm getting this is coming within a few weeks. All right, so you can meet this person while you're on a little vacation or you're taking time off from work. Mm-hmm. We have the old car here in reverse. I'm getting you rejecting someone here with the broken heart. I'm getting somebody... Um. Somebody could work on cars. Somebody could be old or something. Yeah, I'm getting somebody nostalgic, stuck on you. This person could have broke your heart. Yeah, I'm getting there unhappy. Because you're a shooting star. Jack, Diane could be of significance. I'm getting a person from your past in distress. Unhappy, hurt, bitter. Because you're a shooting star. You could be becoming a star or you could be getting recognition. You're working. Like I said, there's a lot of good fortune. A lot of good luck will work. So I'm getting um luck here. I'm getting a wish being granted. Aries. Okay. Yeah. And with the number eight here, as above, so below, I'm getting this situation happens in the next few weeks for you. Mm-hmm. Could be at work falling with the sixth house here, which is Virgo. All right, let me just get a little bit more. Just a little more so we could be a little nosy, okay? And then we're going to go to the charms. Yeah. Can you give me a little bit more for group two? Thank you. If it's explicit, I won't be able to show you the card. But if not, I'll show you. All right, so we got real feelings here. 
you share true romantic feelings worth exploring. So I'm getting two people um, very different, all right? This could be a biracial relationship, um, or y'all could just be um, different skin tones, different hair color, textures. There's something different about y'all, but I'm getting real feelings between you and someone else. Yep. And then we have Trump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't show you this one, but it's the number nine. So September could be of significance and it's Leo. Mm -hmm. And it's telling me you're going to have a lot of suitors. Yes, you're going to be tempted. There's a lot of apples coming your way. Temptation. A lot of people of different sizes, shapes, and figures will be coming your way. And it's going to be on you, which one you choose. Choose wisely. All right, go for the real feelings. Don't just go for like looks. Okay, and then we have empathy here. Like, whoever this is that you are going to have feelings for, they could cook for you or you could be cooking for them. But I'm getting like, there's gonna be real feelings here, and I'm getting this person's gonna feel for you. Yeah, I want to heal you. Like, this person's gonna wanna, this person's gonna wanna help you. There's something about you, what you've gone through, what you've been through, or what you're going through that is gonna make this person feel empathetic to like, what you've been through and want to help you. And then we have the soulmate. You have found your romantic counterpart. And then we have a proposal at the back of the deck. Your romance is about to evolve and level up. Yeah, this could be the one is what is giving cliche, but that's what I'm seeing. And it does happen. So hello. All right. So I'm getting what's next in love is somebody you're going to have real feelings for. And this person will have real feelings for you too. And you guys are going to have this empathic relationship where you guys could feel each other's energies. And this person's going to feel for you. Not that they're going to feel bad for you, but that they're going to see you as a damsel in distress. And they're going to want to come in as a little hero and save the day, sweep you off your feet. And you're going to feel like this person's your soulmate and they're going to feel the same about you and there this has potential to level up to like engagement marriage all that okay mm -hmm. yeah so for those who are in a connection you're going to be shocked that you're breaking up with someone and then you're going to meet someone else now for those who are single i'm getting you're going to be shocked when you meet this person and they could they could have just broken up with someone like i said earlier and been waiting to come towards you or waiting to meet someone like you take it how it resonates all right so let's go to your charms and see what else we get how exciting love it okay i'm gonna quickly give you a preview though of the extended mm-hmm because i did one for group one so i might as well do one for group two i gotta be fair and this is optional and it's available in the description as well as the comments super affordable guys super affordable and it's lengthy it's not short all right so talk to me holy spirit what else does group two need to hear thank you i'm still hearing it yeah and just look me in my eyes with those beautiful eyes the page of pentacles we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so this person, either you just went through a divorce or this person is going through a divorce. I'm getting a new beginning here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after a separation. So I'm getting, after a separation, there's a new beginning here. And I'm getting, you can meet this person at school, work, or around there. And then you're shocked again. I'm getting you shocked either with the separation of something between you and someone else or you're shocked with this person but this is a shocking event the knight of swords we're going to talk more about your reading literally and then we have the nine of swords in reverse you could have recently had like a, a little bit of anxiety stress overwhelmed over past thoughts um maybe overwhelmed overall because your emotions were running high maybe even having nightmares or losing sleep experiencing some insomnia either not sleeping enough or sleeping too much i'm getting that changing i'm getting your sleep coming very easy and i'm getting your mind at ease i'm getting this is coming in fast Mm -hmm. we're gonna go deeper way deeper into this in the extended so if you want to join me let's get it let's go the link will be in the description as well as in the comments but first let's go into your charms let's get more confirmations okay so i have no charms and i hope i find one here for you today 
I didn't get one. <laughs> I threw them in there, but I was like, you know, trying to be fair and not like, you know, pick them. Oh my gosh, yeah. We didn't get one. That makes me sad. All right, anyway, we'll get one in the future. It is what it is. It's there, right? What's meant to come out will come out. But at least that's how you guys know I'm being authentic with the charms. Because I wanted my new charms come out. It's all right. <laughs> all right. All right, so how do you want that to fall? All right, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. And we have the Ten of Swords. All right, um, I'm getting a clingy ass family member here. All right, this could be a sister, a cousin, a spouse, a mother, uh, whoever. There's a feminine family member here that's clingy and um, codependent of you. And the universe wants you to be aware of that. Don't let somebody lean on you too much, okay? Don't don't let somebody take away your your shine or take away your energy. Yeah, because I'm getting like a feminine that you're related to or that's connected to your family that is like a little bit um too needy. All right, so first, middle, last initial. This could be yours, theirs, somebody else's. <laughs> we have X O T J T G O Go Go God. W X O Q P O. Somebody could be in work in law enforcement. We have Q L R O O Z C M Z B M. All right, baby mama, baby father could be of significance. M O Moo More C S H N. Z. All right, let's go. We have the unicorn here. So unicorns could be of significance. I did call you a unicorn, right? You're unique. We have a phone call. So I'm getting you receiving a phone call. Somebody hitting you up. Somebody wanting to tell you something romantic. And then we have um family size, special K. This is fruit and yogurt. All right, somebody could love special K cereal. You have the protection bracelet here. You need to protect your energy. Don't let people vamp off your energy all right you have this abundant vibe this abundant energy and people want to take it or take some you need to protect your energy and you may want to get one of these bracelets i will be giving this bracelet out for the free as a gift with all my orders this month so if you purchase just know you will get that bracelet for free all right and then we have amazon all right so i'm gonna use shopping on amazon or working for amazon we have a daughter here a little baby girl could be of significance i'm getting pisces a pisces could be of significance we have marie birthday cake all right so i'm getting a birthday being of significance mm -hmm. somebody's name could be marie children could be of significance we got nickelodeon slime maybe nickelodeon is of significance maybe you went there with your kids or with a family all right we have blue bonnet butter someone could love that pancakes could be of significance okay the little mermaid strawberry someone could love strawberry chapstick someone could love the little mermaid mm -hmm. i'm getting a best friend be careful with um cafes and putting too many syrups or putting too much sugar in your drinks okay the universe is like letting you know, don't put too many artificial sugars or don't put too much of those syrups in your in your coffee or lattes. Um, mm -hmm. Be careful with that. All right. And then we have here um, ice cream sandwiches. Someone could love this. We have Mike and Ike. Somebody's name could be Mike. We have the lottery here. Lucky slot. All right. Maybe you're going to the lottery, the casinos. You could be hitting. All right, I'm getting you definitely hitting some sort of jackpot here. We had the Wheel of Fortune, so I'm getting a lucky break for you. Money coming in. I'm getting somebody got feet issues. Somebody's feet could stink, or somebody got some issues with their feet. Okay. <laughs> and then we have the little aliens from Toy Story. All right, so I'm getting, um, maybe you love aliens or you're a starseed. You're not from this world. We have ramen hearts. Eat more lettuce, Okay. Yeah, lettuce is good for you. Now, let's get some advice. 
bless maybe you love like ramen lettuce i love ramen lettuce out of all of them all the different type of lettuces all right holy spirit what's the advice for group two thank you all right we have love your work ask yourself today if what you're doing is truly making you happy okay i'm getting you playing chess when it comes to your career work and i did mention like a new job a new position or a new project all right so if you love what you're doing bless continue you're gonna you're gonna excel but if you don't like what you're doing you may want to consider like searching for work that you do love okay because you don't have to stay somewhere just because of money you can make money in other ways all right and then we have here ritual to experience the magic of life you must practice it first so you're being advised to like you know burn your palo santo burn your sage you know burn your incense um cleanse your home do your rituals in order to activate the magic within you and around you accept your blessings believe that the door of abundance is waiting for you and the clearer the goals the quicker you'll get there build bridges not walls Everything you want is waiting for you on the other side of the walls you built. Let your guard down and let life in. So what I'm getting is that you literally have so many blessings and good fortune on the horizon right there. You're at the cusp, but you need to open up and be willing to accept it. So how could you be blocking it by discouraging yourself, doubting yourself, thinking that maybe those opportunities wouldn't present themselves to you, or maybe you won't be approved or liked or accepted. That's a way of you blocking your blessings. You have to be optimistic and open to the possibilities of you actually having a windfall, actually having opportunities and expecting it and claiming it before it even comes in okay and then you have get a massage you deserve to be pampered make your appointment this week get that massage boo boo okay you won't regret it okay trust me trust me i love me a massage <laughs> all right group two i love you listen we're gonna go real deep in this extended so if you want to catch a vibe with me let's go the link will be in the description or in the comments i'm gonna go deep i promise you so I'll see you there if we're going to meet. But if this is where we're parting ways, I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me today. If y'all want to connect with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, my personal reading options is in the description as well as in the comments. And also the link for my shop. If you want any goodies, enjoy 30% off everything, including services. Bless. I love you guys. I really do. Show me love. Okay? Like subscribe hit that bell button comment on the video let me know what was the takeaway what you felt um let's chat i'm here i love y'all sending y'all love light and everything nice Mwah. deuces bless hello there group three what's up baby if you chose the beaver you are at your reading now let's get it let's go let's see what's next in love for you oh snapples wait Bless. That didn't belong there. <laughs> All right. We're going to use my protection mist, of course, prior to getting started because we need to protect ourselves and avoid any interferences from coming through, especially now that it's Mercury retrograde. Okay. Now, let me give you your angel number. Holy Spirit, please come through and help me channel this message here today for group three. Thank you. <clears throat> What is group three's angel number? Thank you. 327. All right, 327. Okay, so that's giving us... Well, your angel number is 327. So when you have a chance, go to your search engine, put in 327 angel number meaning, and bam. There goes your first message from Spirit. If you can, do share. Bless, because everybody gets a different message. Now, it's giving us 12. So December could be of significance. Bless. That is Sagittarius Capricorn, um, which is then giving us 3-2. Okay, so the number 3... December 3rd could be significant or March 12th could be significant. That is, is that Aries or Pisces? I think that's between Pisces and Aries. So I think that's Pisces. Anywho, that could be of significance. Life path number three could be of significance too. I'm getting family, friends, your circle. And I'm getting you focusing on your circle. And I'm getting, there's going to be celebrations. I feel like the holidays this year confirmation are going to be bomb all right in a good way all right so i'm getting you celebrating the holidays with family friends and i'm getting you having a good time 
the holidays are significant with next in love. So I'm getting December. Yeah, it's a little ways from here, but still, that's what I'm predicting. All right, so we have here the beaver. Hmm. So the beaver is someone that is family oriented. And this is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The beaver usually doesn't initiate projects, but when it does get on to a project or get busy with one, it doesn't stop till it completes a task. So I'm getting you doing something. You could be building um, a stronger foundation. You could be working on a home, working on like building a security for yourself, your family, um, those around you. I'm getting you committed to some sort of cause here. Yeah, like I'm getting you build the yeah, you're busy building something. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting something long term. So like from here to the winter, you're like building something. And the universe wants to let you know that one, you're being acknowledged. And two, um, stay focused. Okay, because I'm getting you're going to finish that project or you're going to complete that goal which is a good sign. Bless. You got water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you could be connecting with a water sign. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go. This is my music Oracle deck, which is available on my shop. 30% off right now in case you're interested. All right, so Holy Spirit, talk to me. What is the vibe? What's, what's coming? What's going? What's happening? What's next in love for group three? Next in love. We have Turn on the Lights by Future, which I called Ready. All right, so someone's ready for love. All right, and we have Genie in a Bottle by Christina Aguilera, True Empress. Nice, okay? So I'm getting you stepping into this, regardless of sex, I'm getting you stepping into this Empress energy, and you are a true Empress, which means that you're authentic, okay? I'm getting you, like verifying like i'm getting i don't know how to put this all right oh mercury retrograde man all right but i'm seeing like you being verified okay i'm getting somebody trying to verify something like if you the real deal or not and i'm getting you are the real deal someone's looking for the real deal and they're gonna see the real deal in you so somebody's acknowledging yeah somebody's acknowledging you as someone that is authentic and someone that is worth building with you're like a wish come true. Someone is seeing you as a genie, the genie in the bottle. All right, so we'll turn on the lights by Future. You could listen to this on your own time, of course. This is him basically saying that he's looking for someone in the daytime with a flashlight. You know, he wants someone. He's looking for someone. He's ready for someone. And who he's looking for is someone that isn't just beautiful or handsome, but is someone that can stand on their own, someone that is a person of integrity, a person that is authentic, a person that um, keeps their promises and never like turns you down or never lets you down someone that you're proud to call yours so someone's definitely ready for the real deal so i'm getting you're ready for the real deal i'm getting someone else ready for the real deal and i'm getting like someone looking for that person though and i'm getting you turning into like this like it's like you're leveling up because you're already an empress but i'm getting you becoming like the true empress so i don't know like you're proving a point to others or to people or to yourself that you are a real empress regardless of sex yeah and with the genie in the bottle is basically christina aguilera by the way future is from atlanta christina aguilera is from Staten island new york so that could be of significance um Christina Aguilera is saying in this song, like, she's been having a century of lonely nights. She's in the bottle, you know, and she's magical, but she's not settling for, like, anybody. And even though she's tired of being alone, she's waiting because she knows the wait is worth it. Like, she's waiting for the right one or she's waiting, she's waiting for the person that's going to give her what she needs. And so you could be in this energy where you have been, you know bottled up, working on yourself, the beaver, working on a foundation, working on your security, working on yourself, um, repolishing yourself and proving a point to yourself and possibly to others that you're true, you're authentic and you're the real deal. You're really magical. And so even though you're tired of the lonely nights, you know, you, you know, people want you, but you're not settling is what I'm seeing. 
You want somebody that is going to leave a big impression on you. You want to be impressed. Like I'm, I'm getting, you're not wooed easily. You're not impressed easily by just anybody. Cause if you wanted to be with somebody, I'm, I'm hundred percent sure tomorrow you could be with anybody like for real. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting off of you. Like, and you being in this true empress energy is telling me that your vibration is heightening. The, the price is heightening. Okay. Like your worth is heightening. There's something about you working on yourself, you working on your foundation and you focusing on yourself that is making you like highly worth it. <laughs> I don't know. Highly worth it. Highly worth the fight, the challenge. Um, yeah. Like a lot of people are viewing you like not just attractive, but like the whole kind of package. Yeah. You're like group three is the package, man. You, you see what group three got going on, but group three don't give it up that easily. Mm -mm. Group three is known to say no or to reject. So yeah, you got to come correct. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. All right. The, that's the surface energy. All right. So, um, let's keep going. Somebody could be Haitian. Um, I forgot. Christina Aguilera is Latin, but I forgot where she's from. Somebody could be Latin American. That's for some, not all, of course. All right. So let's keep going. Holy Spirit, talk to me. What's next in love for group three? What's next in love for group three? Thank you very much. I'm getting somebody has really beautiful eyes. Like you want that type of connection where you have that eye contact, like effortless eye contact, and you could like take a dive into someone's soul because the eyes are the window to the soul. So when you're looking someone in their eyes, you could read them, you could feel them, especially if you're sensitive and I'm getting you are sensitive group three, like you're able to, you're an empath, you're able to read people's energy and you're able to feel people out. So I'm getting you looking for like that that moment <laughs> there's like a moment there's an impression you're waiting for you're looking for someone that's just gonna like kind of take your breath away in a sense mm -hmm. you have high standards <laughs> okay Ooh. we have the five of pentacles in reverse so i'm getting you recovering you could have been in a relationship where you thought you were gonna get married with that person or you could have been married with that person like you had high hopes high dreams with another person and this person you could have felt like this person abandoned you or left you out in the cold and it shattered you you could have even gone through some sort of difficulty financially because of a separation or a past relationship i'm getting you recovering mm -hmm. that's why the beavers here like you're recovering you're rebuilding self and um i'm getting your wishes will come true how do you want that to fall? The lovers in reverse, Gemini. Yeah, I'm getting you recovering from a separation. Some of you guys could be same sex. That's for some, not all, of course. Some of you guys could have like a tattoo on your arm, your chest or your neck. Upper body tattoos is what I'm getting. Yeah, you could want to be like you could want to like get married. Like that's your goal or like that's something you really want. A commitment. Like, that's why you're, like, holding out. You're like, nah, I'm not just giving something to just anybody. We have the Ace of Wands. So I do see a new beginning here, a very passionate new beginning at that. All right, give me more for Group 3. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Nice. All right, we have the Knight of Wands. All right, fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm getting a passionate new beginning. Uh-huh. All right. And with the Ten of Swords in reverse, I'm getting that's a rebirth for you. It's a, a new beginning. I'm getting you turning the leaf, starting new with someone here. You could have gone through a divorce or what could have felt like a divorce, like a very um, deep separation, hurtful separation. Mm -hmm. Clarify the Five of Pentacles in reverse. We have the page of cups in reverse. Yeah, I'm getting you had to recover. You were dealing with somebody that was like childish. Okay, so there's a difference between being childlike and being childish. Childlike is like you have a child, like you have a youthful spirit, you know? But childish is when you act like a child, when you act like a brat or when you make dumb decisions or when you're impulsive and you're kind of just going with the wind, you know? I'm getting you recovering from... Um, a painful situation, 
And you could see somebody as very childish because of the way they treated you or how they went about things with you. Clarify the lovers for me in reverse. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this could have been a whole commitment. You could have been living with this person or you could have had dreams to build a family with this person. For some of you guys, you may even have children with this person. For some, not all. All right, but I'm getting family being involved too. Okay, clarify the Ace of Wands. Okay, how do you want that to fall? For reals? Yeah, that's how it's falling. The Two of Cups in reverse. Okay. Let's see. Clarify the Knight of Wands here. The Judgment. Clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse. The Three of Cups in reverse. And we have the Eight of Swords. Hmm. 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 I'm getting somebody planning to come towards you after a separation. Mm-hmm. Somebody's scared to come towards you, but somebody's planning to come towards you after a separation. Mm-hmm. I'm getting somebody trying to resurrect something with you. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. We need to get more. We do. I'm getting somebody trying to sweep you off your feet, woo you, resurrect the passion, resurrect a relationship with you. Yeah. I'm seeing them breaking things off with someone and scared to come towards you. They could have felt like they were locked up. They couldn't come towards you, but they're coming towards you after they get out, after they release themselves, and they want to be really passionate with you. They want to have sexy time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just not sold, so we need to get a little more. <laughs> I'm like you. It takes a lot to impress me. All right, because the Knight of Wands is a very impulsive energy. It's someone that's very attractive, someone that's very good looking. You know, they know how to charm. They know how to woo. They know what buttons to press. And they're very good at what they do. Uh, that kind of rhymes. Somebody could be a rapper. All right, but I'm getting somebody trying to resurrect that fire within you. Trying to resurrect something here with you via sex. Mm-hmm. I'm getting gossip about a divorce. This person could have got married or they could have been in a commitment. And I'm getting people talking about um, this divorce, this separation, people gossiping. Mm -hmm. People could have talked about how this person celebrated um, getting away from someone else, but they're scared to come towards you. They could have been locked up. This person could have literally been locked up or got locked up or something. Where am I going? Okay. Let's see. I want to know more about this because, like I said, I'm not sold. All right. Tell me more about this person coming towards group three next in love. Patience. Have patience, group three. Just in a f just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. Yeah, and like I said, I pulled December, so that's depending on when you're watching this, because my readings are timeless. That's um three months from now. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> September, October, November. Yeah, December, three months from now. All right, so have patience. Um, yes, guaranteed. Luck is on your side. All right, I'm getting somebody moving. All right, so this person you meet could be moving near you. Mm -hmm. Change of residence, moving in with your partner. Yeah, so I'm getting this person either moving near you or moving into your area around that time. And then there's someone here that's going to be back. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. I'm getting this person spying on you. So you got two different things going on. Clarify, they'll be back. So you got someone new moving into your area around the holidays. And that's a lucky break for love. And then you have this person coming back. So clarify, they'll be back. They're at a distance. This could be emotionally or physically. Right now. 
and you're being told to let it go. Let go, make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I wasn't sold. And then we have health. Health issues could arise. So this person that you left behind could have some sort of health issues. This could be mental or physical. I'm not a doctor, but it's showing that they have health issues. And they're going to come back towards you. They could be at a distance or they could be keeping their distance from you. Um, because they're scared. Mm -hmm. But let them go is what you're being told. Because And be patient because you have the real deal coming in. They're actually moving in to your neighborhood or moving in, moving around you, your community. This winter, this fall winter is what it's giving me. Mm -hmm. All right, tell me more for group three. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we have a change in the wind. Yeah, number 12, which is what we got with your angel number. Yeah, so I'm getting three months. Somebody is changing environments, changing places. There's going to be a change in love for you within three months. We have community. Yeah, somebody's moving into your community. I'm getting somebody coming near you. Number eight. All right, so number eight could be of significance. August. All right, so... December 8th. That's giving me a date. I said December 3rd. Now we have December 8th. So these dates are significant. Maybe they're a Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely getting like they could have a child too. Or they're moving around family. So their family could live near you right now. And they're moving there, wherever you're at. Uh-huh. But I'm getting a change in the wind, a change in love for you. And then I'm, I'm seeing here with flexible number 19, which is giving 10 a new beginning. So right now you're being asked to just be flexible when it comes to new. All right, be flexible. Don't be fixed. You know, be open minded to new beginnings and new romance. Yeah, I see you healing your heart. This person from your past wants to mend things with you, but you're being told, yeah, put it to sleep. You heard that? <laughs> you're being told to put it to sleep, let it go. There's something unhealthy about that person or relationship. I'm getting, um, yeah, it's going to be around the holidays. During the holidays, we give gifts, right? Exchanging gifts. I'm getting like, you're, you're going to meet this person through mutual friends or an event where people are exchanging gifts. This could be through work, family, friends, or something. But I'm getting you meeting them like that. Yeah, and there's going to be chemistry, honey, milk and honey. I remember my guides came to me during um, a prophetic dream, and they like described this card, literally this card to me. And they were talking to me about it. I don't remember right now what they were telling me because I was like four years ago. <laughs> um, but this card is such a beautiful energy. This is basically like you indulging in like romance, love, chemistry, like you feeling blessed, you feeling bliss, you feeling ecstasy, you feeling like you're floating on the clouds. This person's going to woo you, sweep you off your feet. That impression you're waiting for, you're, you're waiting for from somebody, this person's going to give it to you. Mm -hmm. They're going to give you that milk and that honey. So honey attracts and milk, <laughs> you know what it does. <laughs> so honey and milk mixed together, that's a great combination. All right, so I'm getting a lot of sexy time with the, with the rainbow here. I'm getting you happy, so happy, like feeling blessed. Yang, divine masculine energy. And then we had divine feminine energy with the true empress. All right, so I'm getting, regardless of your sex or who you resonate being, I'm getting this is your divine partner, someone that matches you, someone that relates to you, someone that compares to you, someone that's on your level. And this person's a leader. They're going to want to take charge. I'm getting passion. A lot of energy between you two is electrifying. It's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> and then we have higher power here with the number four. So I'm getting your angels here. And I'm getting you connecting with your higher self. And I'm getting you unlocking something in this connection for sure. Mm -hmm. You're going to unlock a new level, a new spiritual level in this connection. Tell me more, spirit. Thank you for group three. But I feel like the X comes back before this person comes in. Yeah, it could just be, you know, a test. Take it how it resonates, but they will. Look at that, South Node. 
you have a past life mm-hmm. you have a past life um with this person that's from your past your ex yeah lessons not learned they're still in that south node energy they haven't learned the lesson Mm -hmm. Y'all have past lives together, though. I'm getting... Something was left unfinished. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfinished business. But with this new person, they're going to feel very familiar when you, when you connect with them. We have cancer here. Cancer. So it's giving home, family. They could be a cancer. I'm getting someone very emotional. I'm getting something being birthed. There could be potential for a baby with this person, if that's possible. And then we have Gemini. So I'm definitely getting you guys talking about home, family, building something together. Somebody could work online. I'm getting you guys talking a lot on the phone. I'm getting this person will be very talkative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we have you blah, 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 you're discovering the matrix faces of who you are. So I'm getting you discovering yourself. Yeah. During this phase, during this space and time. And you're building something. All right, can you tell me more about what's next for group three and love? Bless. All right, we have marriage. Oh shit. Okay. All right, so this could go to the next level. It says here, wedding, wedding bells are ringing. Dong, dong, da, dong. Dong, dong, da, dong. <laughs> we have twin flame recognition. All right, you're going to recognize this person to be like your twin flame, your person. You know this soul that mirrors your own. All right, so you guys are going to mirror each other. They're definitely going to impress you. And then we have protection. Oof. I'm getting water. Virgo could be of significance. Scorpio. Number 15 could be of significance. I'm getting... Y'all could, like, go for swims in the morning. Like, go for a swim together in the morning. I'm getting you guys in water, naked. Uh huh. I'm getting this relationship will be... Um, an awakening, and I'm getting this relationship will be protected. I can't show you that card because y'all naked there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting like wildlife. Like y'all could go somewhere, or live somewhere where there's like lakes, trees, forests. This could even be the beach, but I'm getting y'all like, um, skinny dipping. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we have here. How do you want that to fall? <laughs> a dusty ass third party. All right, we have a third party here. A dusty ass third party. Okay, why is this third party person here? All right, psychic connection. Your connection goes beyond mere words. So somebody's going to be jealous of this connection you guys have. Y'all going to have a psychic connection. Uh huh. And I'm getting this person's going to be really, um, y'all going to have an empathic connection too where. You guys may finish each other's words, feel each other's energies. Like, words don't need to be shared. You guys will understand each other, relate to each other, get each other, feel each other. Um, this person will be really sweet and caring. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting a third party very jealous. You are worthy and you're worth this. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. All right? So you are worthy. Um, I want to know about this third party, though. Why is this third party here? <laughs> Man. All right, let's see. Can you clarify this third party right here? What's this about? We have bodybuilders. So they could be into, like, um, the gym, gym rap. They could be an athlete. Or the third party could be, let's see, clarify the third party. We have kerosene. I'm getting somebody mad. With a new beginning, yeah. Burning book. I'm getting this person's history. This could be your person, your ex. Um, but I'm getting over here a third person a third party person on their end. All right. So maybe both of y'all got exes coming back that want to resurface things, but it's a strong no on both sides. Because I see this third party person angry, aggressive, accelerated, mad, wanting to provoke them or you. Yeah, but I'm seeing them happy with their freedom, high vibing with you. I'm getting you guys ascending. I'm getting you guys happy. 
I'm getting them letting go of a third party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like starting over a new life. Yeah, because they're moving near you. And I'm getting they left behind some sort of third party. And that per that third party going to be mad. <laughs> oh, well, with the burning of the book is as if this person you're connecting with is rewriting history. So they don't want to deal with that. So there's nothing you got to worry about, I feel. All right, so let's get a little bit more. Yes, and then we're going into your charms, of course. Of course, but that's how you know they are catch. People are on their tail. People are going to be on your tail, too. You have this ex over here coming back. <laughs> that's how you know you're a catch, okay? Yeah. All right, Um. right, let's get a little bit here. Tell me a little more about what's coming, going, happening for group three, next in love. All right, we have sunglasses. I'm getting somebody stalking you and you don't even know it. We have stormproof. I'm getting you're protected. Yeah, I'm getting somebody watching you. Mm-hmm. You're safe, though. So if you were worried about a stalker or someone obsessed with you, like, you're good. You're protected. All right, I'm getting you being locked in with a lover. Mm-hmm. And that love is going to feel like eternal love. And you're going to learn a lot with this person. They could be a teacher or your student, but I'm getting you learning a lot about love with this person. Y'all going to be locked in. This love is like unquestionable. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting you guys taking a lot of pictures, making a lot of memories. I'm getting both your exes are going to pop up. Your ex and their ex is going to blast from the past when you guys are locked in with each other. This relationship will be prosperity. There's going to be financial blessings. I'm getting you guys together creating prosperity and making dreams come true. This is a new opportunity. That's why the exes are coming through because you guys are going to be sharing your moments. I guess because you're taking so many pictures, maybe you're posting the pictures, you know, and the exes are feeling a type of way. Like, hold up. Who that? Uh-uh. <laughs> Ring the alarms. <laughs> like, relax, relax. Relax, Linda. Relax, Charlie. <laughs> All right, let's get a little more. All right, so what I'm going to do now is give you a preview of the extended. So I do extended, and they're optional, of course. They're not mandated. They're optional, and they're super affordable. And it's on you if you want to continue the vibe with me. But let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you. What else does Group 3 need to know at this time in general? All right, so we have the Five of Cups in reverse. So I do see you moving on, and I do see you recovering emotionally from past hurts okay wine could be of significance with the chariot in reverse how do you want that to fall all right the chariot's upright that's what i felt all right i see you moving on fast though like maybe it took a while for you to move on but when you do i i feel like you feel really good and you move on fast it's giving the fall this fall you're officially moving on from someone or something yeah that's cancer Someone could have two dogs, a small, medium, large one. Uh-huh. Someone could have a special dog, like a handicapped dog. Yeah, but I see you moving forward per pretty, pretty fast. You could be traveling. Uh-huh. A car could be of significance. We have judgment here. Yeah, you're having a rebirth this fall. This fall, you're being resurrected, sweetheart. You're coming out of some sort of cocoon. Yeah, and you're flying. I'm getting your angels around you. Mm-hmm. Strong level up here. The Fool. Look at all this major arcana, though. Chariot, Judgment, The Fool. Major milestone this fall. For a fact, you're resurfacing is what I'm seeing. A new you is coming out pretty quickly, but I feel like it took time. It's just going to feel pretty quick when it happens. I see you manifesting a new beginning over here. Mm-hmm. And then we have the Magician, four major arcanas. Definitely, your life is changing this fall. You're going to create some sort of history this fall. Um, it's for the books. Yeah, whatever you're doing this fall, it, it could go into the books. I'm getting your life literally changing. <clears throat> a new you, new life, new chapter, new book. Fuck a chapter, new book. 
here that you manifested. You manifested this this like acceleration here, this this spaceship, you reaching the stars, you being the phoenix, because the judgment energy is the phoenix. Mm-hmm. So as you heal and move on, you step into this powerful energy. Bless. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So it's happening soon. Yeah, it's happening very, very soon. I'm getting this fall. This fall is literally around the corner. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting it could start now. Like the healing process. You know, you healing and moving on fully. Because, you know, sometimes we think we are fully healed and we're not. You know, there's still little residue from the past, you know, that still is lingering that we need to like get rid of. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about this history that you're making this fall, magical stuff happening. We're going to talk about all of this, what you manifested, your new beginning, your resurrection. We're going to talk about your success and the new you, because this is a new you, honey. Mm -hmm. And it's coming off as you feeling righteous, like you have the right to re be rebirthed mm -hmm. after everything you went through. All right, so we're going to talk about all that, honey, in the extended, which will be linked in the description as well as in the comments. All right, so let's go. All right, let's see what your charms are. Oh, yeah, you got the new shoe. I'm so happy. All right, yeah, because I got new charms, and I didn't get it for the first two piles, and I was so sad. I was like, come on, I want that new charm, and you guys got it. Okay. Okay, so let's do initials. First, middle, last initial. This could be yours, somebody else's. Okay, take out resonance. We have L O R. Lore, Z X Y, A A, Ray. Somebody's name could be Ray. H J N, F N. H R. Somebody could work in H R. Work could be of significance. Ann, the name Ann. B J. <laughs> My mind goes places <laughs> all right we have v v x somebody could be a pharmacist legal or illegal <laughs> we have um oh we have bv jv um be careful with unprotected sex remember what i mentioned earlier someone's unhealthy or something whether that's mentally or physically but we got bv here which is a uh, an infection okay h k K-E-J-O. Joe? Somebody's name could be Joe. K-K. All right. Let's keep going. What we have here? The magician. So I'm getting you manifesting all of this. Everything that I'm talking about, you manifested it. You brought it into fruition. We have um strawberry lemonade, country time. Okay, so maybe you love this. Maybe you like lemonade or someone else does. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting somebody shocked. Somebody, like somebody's going to be, you're going to be shocked. Other people are going to be shocked for sure. Yeah, I'm getting unexpected. Like you, like someone comes in unexpectedly, this love. I'm getting as a gift from the universe. After you went through some sort of battles, you deserve this. Mm -hmm. Believe, okay? Believe that you are the unicorn and believe in your dreams because your dreams are definitely coming true. Not just with love. All right, we have 500 here. That could be significant. May. What is this? We have um, an SUV. that Somebody could drive an SUV. Sparkle Girls. All right. Um, a mic could be significant. I'm getting you being um, given like a trophy, an accolade. We have a MacBook here. So somebody could work on a computer or online. Or you could just have a MacBook. We have Oak Milk. Somebody could like oak milk, okay? And then we have, um, I think these are Dior's. The Air Force Ones, the Dior. Yeah, sneakers could be of significance. Somebody could be a sneaker head. Someone could like the brand Dior. 
we have the little mermaid here all right so you could relate to like the little mermaid story she had like daddy issues because her dad wanted her to do certain things she didn't want to do she didn't want to be a mermaid princess she wanted to walk the earth and explore and adventure and she wanted to marry a human like she wanted to like go into another world so she did she didn't care what her dad had to say she did it and she made it happen at the end of the day um it was accepted by her family they had to accept it <laughs> she followed her heart so you could be following your heart, going somewhere, doing something. Your relationship, the new relationship could be like the Little Mermaid story where you guys could be from very different places, different worlds, different cultures, different backgrounds. And it just works. It clicks. And you guys can meet by a miracle. Yeah, it's giving no coincidence, though. We have Smashers, Mega Light Up Dino 25. 25 could be of significance. I'm getting past lives. Uh-huh. And then we have a luggage here. Yeah, I'm getting this person traveling towards you or moving near you. Mm hmm. Or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. All right, we have crispy cocoa rice. All right, that's chocolate cereal. Best mom or mom's best cereal. Okay. I'm getting you're a great parent if you are a parent. Okay. Somebody could love chocolate rice krispies. And then we have Thor. Somebody could look like Thor. All right, um, someone could love Thor or the Marvels. Yeah, I'm getting somebody has that hammer. <laughs> and then we have a bridge. I'm getting you crossing a bridge. You're going from one place to another in your life. Yeah, I'm getting you networking and you like changing places or like changing something. There's a lot of change happening here. You're crossing the bridge. You're going somewhere new. You're doing something new. A bridge could be significant. Bless. Let's get your advice out here, group three. Okay. What's the advice for group three? Thank you, Spirit. Bless. Advice for group three. What's the advice? Or right, we have find a mentor. Find a mentor in your field who can help you reach your goals faster. All right, so if you're trying to reach some sort of goals, there's people that are doing what you're doing and possibly have excelled your, your goals. Not excelled your goals, but have excelled in what it is that you want to do and so you're being guided to like collaborate or connect find a mentor someone that can help you reach those goals faster mm -hmm. and we have forgiveness is for you i'm getting somebody betrayed you and hurt you in the past and so i do see you healing and moving on from that and your guides are saying listen forgiveness is for you forgive others and yourself because your soul deserves to be at peace, you know? By holding on to resentment, anger, and old BS, you know, you're you're harboring, you're 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 keeping space for that anger, that low vibration. So you're being guided to just, you know, forgive and let go. Reconsider and improvise. When you come to a roadblock that hold on, when you come to a roadblock, take a detour and see it as an opportunity to experience new things in life, all right? So something wasn't by coincidence, all right? There was a divine intervention between you and someone else so that you could take a detour and go in a new direction. And that's towards like a castle, <laughs> celebrations. Stop finding holes in your success or a reason to undermine it. You deserve to celebrate yourself and your accomplishments, all right? So I'm getting you celebrating, baby. Mm-hmm. Don't undermine yourself and definitely give yourself a pat in the back, okay? And then we have the sacral chakra here, which is saying it's out of balance. So you may want to focus on this chakra. You could use a Reiki master for this, or you can meditate and heal it yourself. Bless. All right, group three, let's go. So happy for you and so thankful for you being here with me. Now I'm going to go to this reading over here and we go go deep. We're going to go deep and we're going to get much more than just a tarot reading. So if you want to join me, link will be in the description as well as the comments. But if this is where we're parting ways, I just want to say I love you and thank you so much for being here. Show me some love. 
Hit, hit the little like button, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell button. If y'all want to connect with me for personal, check out my services in the description as well as the comments. Check out my shop too, guys. Everything, including my services, is 30% off to the end of the month. Take advantage. And I love you guys so much. I hope to see you guys in the comments, if not in the extended or the next one. Sending you all love, light, and everything nice. Mwah. Deuces. Bless.